Now, I know that my memory clock is uh, good up to 1250. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. But however, on your video card, it may be less or maybe even higher. Maybe it can go up to 1300. Because I'm using the cheapest Sapphire HD 5750 1GB GDDR5 128-bit video memory uh, memory interface video card, which is the, was the cheapest video card and 129.99. And I bought it with the strategy to overclock it and get equal to 57.70 and save some money. Alright, and look like it does it well. Look like my plan just worked out. And now I'm sharing with you guys. And I'm running this settings, uh, my maximum overclock settings about 6-7 months already, 24-7. And nothing wrong with the card so far. So, and it's safe, trust me. I'm, I was being overclocking for 10 years. If you will follow this tutorial, you're going to have it nicely done. But however, it's you taking your own risk. So... I'm not gonna, you know, pay for your damage equipment or for something else. It just on your own risk. As again, so uh, you will ask me, how did I find out that 1250 is safe? Well, what I did, I after 1200, I start increasing my memory frequency by 20 megahertz, and playing game about one hour or three hours, and then if it's stable going back and increasing 20 more megahertz and playing the game and until my f uh, screen gonna freeze or some artifact artifacts on the screen some blinking stuff then i'm gonna lower it by 20 megahertz uh, after the restart first you need to restart it get back and uh, just remember your settings and lower it decrease your settings by 20 megahertz Th same thing on the gpu uh, but on GPU, I suggest you to go like 10, 15 megahertz down, and um, or up. So you're going up 10, 15 megahertz up on GPU till it's gonna freeze up in the game. Then restart and you you know the settings and decrease it or lower it by 10, 15 megahertz down. All right. So I know that my GPU can go up to 900 megahertz, but unfortunately, after playing Crisis like one hour or two hours, it's failing and freezing. So the safest um, GPU frequency is 890. So, but how to set it if this tool doesn't allow us? Well, basically, you need to um, go ahead and run the ATI tool tray. Click on it, and it's going to bring us a little red icon over here. And as you can see in the window, I'm just showing. And if you will click left button mouse on it, you can set the resolution. But however, right button mouse on it, you're going to have the menu. If you're going to go to hardware and then click on overclocking settings, it's going to bring us some uh, same overclocking abilities and features. As you can see, it gives us the information that is set over here. And the temperature fan is 40, and GPU, uh, I mean the, the temperature GPU is 47, and the fan rotating speed is 40 percent. All right. So um, what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna increase till 890 and click apply, and it's gonna take it while. But before to do this, make sure that your voltage is set to the maximum voltage. And it perfectly makes sense. We need to more electricity to run at the higher frequencies. So we need to increase the voltage in the GPU to be able to pass the manufacturer default uh, frequency and increase that frequency. So we need the higher voltage. So make sure you lower your voltage as the highest as it can go. All right. And as you can see, it's saying 890 over here. And if we're going to open the GPU-Z, it's going to say 890 as well over here. But it doesn't say over here. Why? Because after burner, MSI after burner doesn't refresh on the fly. So to be able to refresh it, you need to just, you know, click somewhere on the frequencies and click apply. And it's going to automatically change the, f um, the frequencies. So it's refreshed now, but uh, rotating speed is 40, and it's not good. So what we we need to do, because it's not, it's not going to be stable overclock, our, our video card GPU will be overheated and will freeze up. So we need to disable the automation mode and go to manual. So click on automation once, and percent. 
100% is a full load on the fan. So this fan going to rotate at the full speed. But 90% is good. It's not that noisy. Click apply and you're going to start hearing the fan rotating in your case. So uh, unfortunately um, the ATI tool tray has the fan option over here but in this version if we're gonna go to manual speed and we're gonna set let's say to 65 and gonna click apply it's as you can see it's not taking that it's doesn't want to apply that information so fan uh, speed in ATA tool tray doesn't work correctly for the Sapphire at least for the Sapphire HD5750 video card so that's why I'm using the MSI afterburner tool to set the fan speed to 90 and you can set it to 100 if you like but uh, 100 is a little bit too noisy and 90 is not that too noisy so I like the 90 and it's stable at uh, the 3 hours 5 hours to playing let's say crisis I'm getting about uh, 69 uh, Celsius um, degree on my video card at that extreme overclocking which is fine alright as you can see our um, bandwidth r uh, rate increased to eight, 80 gigabytes per second before it was 73.1 it's even higher right now than on 5770 and some other information I'm gonna compare on our conclusion uh, page step by step you're gonna see it I'm gonna highlight it for you what is our conclusion and what kind of um, increase in performance we can gain alright so you just learned today how to overclock your video card using three tools GPU Z for verifying the information uh, ATI tool tray to pass beyond the 850 megahertz and it can go even to 900 910 whatever your GPU will take if you have a nice cooling on the GPU you can go to 910 but I believe that 5750 GPU is limited itself hardwarely by 920 megahertz. You're not going to pass it beyond 920 megahertz with the stability. All right, and uh, using the MSI after burner uh, software, you just learn how to increase uh, your fan speed to whatever you want. Alright, so basically you got the basic information how to overclock your 50 H Radeon HD5750 beyond the limits from the AMD M and AMD Overdrive technologies. Uh, get whatever frequency you want, whatever frequency your video card will take. And to get equally to 5770. And as again, my name is Alexander Moroz, and this video tutorial was recorded with Moroz Video Capture, the little software program that was developed by me to capture the game screen while you're playing your favorite games or uh, to capture the desktop screen while you're doing your own tutorials. And let's go ahead to move to the conclusion page. And thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to rate this video so more people can see it. And subscribe if you like this video for more cool videos in the future. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now. And also, by the way, I'm sorry. This tutorial will work with any uh, Radeon 5750 video cards. Any brands. MSI, Sapphire, ATI, whatever brands you will name it, it will work so just let you know gigabyte it will work with any brands so and uh, on any operating systems like Windows XP Vista 32-bit or 64-bit so this is a nice cool tutorial and also you gain some cool knowledge about the overclocking and some basic information about video cards which is very useful so please rate this video tutorial thank you so much and let's go ahead to move to the next step which is conclusion and I'm probably not going to talk to you anymore, so bye now.